Live from KTV in Reno, you're watching 2 News at 430. Construction is underway on one of the busiest streets in Reno with crews making improvements all throughout Midtown and that tops our 2 News at 430. Now the $80 million project is expected to beautify the street and even make it safer. I'm Ariana Bennett and I'm Kristen Remington. Thank you for keeping it here with us. It also means road cones galore, particularly between Liberty and Plum Lane. Paul Nelson joins us live in Midtown where the cone zone is already set up. Paul, explain why this project is so important. Yeah, this street is major, Kristen. Not only is this the biggest regional corridor, but it's also one of the oldest. Officials say this project will bring this whole street up to date and improve the neighborhood for everyone who comes here. Construction on any major roadway can be a disruption. But officials say this project has been a long time coming for one of Reno's busiest and oldest streets. There's lots of aging and uh, old utilities in the road. We want to reconstruct those, rebuild those, upgrade them as appropriate um, so that we don't have to ever come back here again for you know 20 years. The first phase will take six months. These power lines will be gone and crews will bury the utilities instead. So all those will go away. We'll be putting NV Energy, AT&T, Verizon, uh, upgrading Tumwa, storm drain facilities. The end result will mean better walkability and parking, and it means fewer lanes and slower traffic. That was a result of these conflicting requirements of providing wide enough sidewalks that are ADA compliant, retaining as much parking as we can, and then providing a safe corridor for vehicles to travel. Officials say this project is also important for the future of Midtown, especially as this neighborhood evolves. It's important. Midtown is such an awesome part of Reno, such a great part of our growing community, and so we're, we're just happy to be part of it. South Virginia Street is close to northbound traffic during construction, so drivers will have detours and there's plenty of access for parking on the side streets. Now, one question that many people have is how will this affect the businesses down here at Midtown? You'll hear from one business owner coming up tonight at 530. Covering Cone Zone Live, Paul Nelson, 2 News. Mm.